These sentiments echo across many other market women at the Ibubulishi market struggling to make ends meet. Amidst the concerns, they expressed how times and seasons are a huge determinant in the rise and fall of prices of these vegetables in the market. <laughs> Right now, the price of pepper has increased. It doesn't rain often, but the rains currently are destroying farms. So pepper has become scarce. A sack of pepper is now 2,200 cities. It doesn't rain, so farmers bring two boxes instead of ten boxes of vegetables. Transportation costs are included in our pricing. Foreign carrots, say First, we started to thirty Ghana. They increased their foreign carrot from 30 cities to 200 cities. Whenever I mention the price to customers, they leave. As of 2022, 42.1% of the population comprising 13 million Ghanaians were experiencing food insecurity, according to the Ghana Statistical Services findings. The World Food Program predicts that between June and August this year, over one million people in Ghana will face food insecurity. Buyers generally express dissatisfaction with the market price increase. With the tomatoes, uh, it's seasonal. So sometimes uh, you come in and it's very cheap. Uh, to buy this for 50, it's, it's very expensive. So the only thing that I think we can do what the government can do as a nation is to preserve it when they are in abundance. We've been working throughout the market to buy tomatoes, but it's expensive. Government should intervene and provide food because we can't stay in Ghana and be hungry. We can't stay in Ghana and come here. For the traders, urgent government intervention is needed to salvage the situation. The transportation is high, which also affects us. We plead with the government to do something about it. We import our local carrot from Togo. The government can give us land to grow carrot instead of importation. Food and agriculture are crucial for a country's development, contributing to over 22% of Ghana's GDP and 40.9% of export earnings. The Food and Agricultural Organization, FAO, states that agriculture provides over 90% of the country's food needs, urging the government to focus more on the agricultural sector. Safwa Abouahene, TV3 News, Accra.